June 16, 1815, Ligny, Belgium. Wellington's British Army and von Blücher Prussian were dangerously close to France. If the two armies united, Allied victory would be certain. Napoleon had to prevent it if he wanted to save his empire. This was the Battle of Ligny. The Prussian army, under the command of Prince von Blücher, had reached Ligny and taken up positions around the city, waiting for Wellington's troops. The Prussian commander had 84,000 men. Napoleon could not allow the Allied armies to unite and send Marshal Ney's troops to face the British at Quatre Brasse. He himself went to Ligny to fight the Prussians with 68,000 men. Napoleon began the attack on the farms around Ligny, without being able to penetrate the city. Seeing that his men resisted, von Blücher ordered his troops to counterattack. The Prussians attacked all the French lines. But Napoleon's troops managed to resist the thrust of von Blücher men. After resisting the attacks of the Prussians, Napoleon ordered his right flank to attack the Allied troops and surround von Blücher men.
After surrounding the Prussian left flank, Napoleon sent his old guard to crush the resistance of the Allies. the Prussians resisted fiercely. But finally finding themselves totally surrounded by the French they began to withdraw. prevent his troops from being destroyed in the retreat. The Prussian commander sent his hussars to attack the advancing troops of Napoleon. The brave Prussian cavalry was destroyed, but managed to drive the rest of the army back from Lini. Von Blücher had lost 25,000 men. The French had only had 7,000 casualties. Napoleon had expelled the troops of von Blücher de Ligny. But the Prussians ended up joining the British and would attack again at Waterloo.